Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and a very good morning to Madam Ima. Today you are from group 2 and we are going to present about application of HPLC in pharmaceutical. A very good day to Madam and everyone. My name is Kelab Tang. My mention number is 23DBT F2002. My name is Siti Fatima Azhar bin Timama Yusuf and my mention number is 23DBT 19F2004. Hello madam, I am Sri Rubini Rajan from DBT 5A and my matrix number is 2015. So this is our table of content and in this presentation we are going to present about type and preparation of sample, the suitable parameters and the data interpretation and lastly is the evidence of why a HPLC is the best technique for the analysis. So, before we are going to know more about HPLC in pharmaceutical industry, firstly, we need to know what is HPLC itself. So, HPLC is also known as a high-performance liquid chromatography and it is an analytical technique used to uh, separate, to identify and to quantify the component in a mixture. And in HPLC, it uh, consists of reservoir of mobile phase pump, injector, the separation column, and the detector. So next is HPLC in a pharmaceutical. So HPLC is a liquid chromatography that is generally used in the pharmaceutical industry. And it also, it was used in the pharmaceutical industry because it can provide a precise result that are required in the pharmaceutical industry. Secondly, it also can be used to rebuild the identity of drug and it also can monitor the progress of therapy on a disease. And lastly, uh, HPLC was used in pharmaceutical because it has the ability to elucidate the structure and to determine the quantities of impurities in the pharmaceutical uh, form formulation. So, let's move on on what is the type of sample and how to uh, prepare the sample. So, the type of sample that we are going to um, use in this presentation is, is we are going to use paracetamol. This is because paracetamol is frequently used in the pharmaceutical industries. And paracetamol is a popular analgesic and antipyretic agent. So, for the preparation of sample, firstly, we need to weigh uh, 20 tablets of paracetamol and we need to powder the uh, paracetamol using mortar and pencil until it turns into the into a powder and then we need to transfer 5 uh, milligram of paracetamol into 100 milliliter of volumetric flask and we need to dilute the paracetamol powder using the mobile face uh, to the calibrated line of the uh, volumetric, volumetric flask and lastly the amount of paracetamol was determined uh, by comparing the peak area of the assay preparation with the standard uh, preparation at the same concentration. So their parameters include efficiency factor, separation factor, retention factor, and uh, the peak width. What is the efficiency factor? Efficiency factor is how it measures how sharp the component peaks, and it will indicate the separation method efficiency from the mixture. Uh, next is the retention factor by the time which is required for a compound from the moment of injection until the moment of detection is to be reached and it represents the time the nanolite is in the mobile and stationary phase uh, this retention factor indicates whether the analyte solute prefers the stationary or mobile phase uh, next will be the separation factor separation factor is the comparison, comparison of separation of two neighboring components of the mixture and then lastly the peak width which the peak width cover the uh, period from the beginning of the signal slope until reaching the baseline uh, after repeated drops in the detector signal uh, that's all from me thank you very much in this video i'm going to explain about the interpretation data from hplc and about the chromatogram and lastly i'm going to explain the evidence that approved uh, that HPLC is the best method to use in science field. So let me to begin the presentation. Firstly, an actual uh, this chromatogram is present about the paracetamol separation. It's a uh, pharmaceutical compound. Okay, a paracetamol separation can be 
seen from the chromatogram by looking at the retention time, height of the peak, and also area of the peak, and also the concentration of, uh, of the paracetamol. So retention time tells us, as Caleb said just now, retention time is um, time taken for a sample or, or for, a, for a compound to pass through the column. So this uh, paracetamol, uh, this uh, chromatogram shows the time taken for a paracetamol to pass through the column and the elution time of the uh, paracetamol. So uh, basically the chromatogram brings out the details, yeah, details of uh, retention time, uh, peak height and also area of the peak and also the amount of the sample. So the height of the peak tells us the concentration and the area also tells us the concentration. When the height of the peak is not true towards the concentration, it's recommended to refer towards the area of the peak to be more accurate, to know about the concentration, not about the, concentration, the amount of the concentration of the sample, of a particular sample. <clears throat> so higher the peak, the more the concentration of the compound but uh, how uh, if there were multiple uh, peaks present in the chromatogram it uh, considered that there is a lot of compounds present in the sample or mixture so each peak represents for each compound each compound height or concentration each compound of retention time and so on so and that's it for the chromatogram. If you if we see the chromatogram, the it presents the detector responses and the retention time uh, on x axis, and we can see the retention time also above the peak. Beside the peak, we can see the concentration area of the peak, uh, and then the height of the peak. So that's all for the chromatogram. So we can determine the a uh, product that ha has been separate or not, and also can determine which component is eluted first. And then we can know the time taken for the paracetamol to pass through the stationary. Le uh, next, let me to explain about the evidence that HPLC is the best method to be used. So firstly, HPLC has been accredited uh, to be the best control and accurate uh, flow rate system. An author uh, by Shera Katodi, 2022, the, HP, the author said that HPLC has significant analysis of protein from cereals which produce the maximum resolution as compared to other methods of uh, uh, other methods of chromatograph, uh, such as CLC, competitive CLC. Uh, HPLC has been giving the more res resolution of the uh, compound. And then uh, HPLC is also a powerful instrument that having the qualities of speed, efficacy, and also accuracy. It is really suitable the, and helpful to determine the and uh, to determine the compound based from the environment, pharmaceutical, food, and also nutraceutical compounds. So, and Dr. Jeremy S. 2009 from that journal, uh, the author said that the extraction of blueberry and anthocyanin, it's a compound from a uh, blueberry, was extracted or separated successfully by using the HPLC by uh, providing the high accuracy in concentration from the HPLC method. So it also enhances the ability to quantitate and identify anthocyanin in plant material uh, from, by using the HPLC method. So compared to other methods such as CLC, HPLC is very more efficient. Uh, it is costly, but the quality in including in the HPLC is way more better than other uh, chromatography methods. And furthermore, the, on the same time, it also uh, producing the high resolution for each compound to be checked. So 
put these our references and that's all from us. Thank you for watching.